हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू थर्ड डे ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिस ऑन ओलंपियाड क्वेश्चन फॉर क्लास फोर्थ टुडे आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर द ओलंपियाड ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट स्टेट्स दैट वन किलोग्राम ऑफ अनियंस कॉस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव If थ्री किलोग्राम ऑफ अनियंस कॉस्ट एज मच एज फाइव किलोग्राम्स ऑफ पोटैटो हाउ मच विल इट कॉस्ट टू बाय ट्वेल्व किलोग्राम ईच ऑफ पोटैटो एंड अनियंस टूगेदर सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवेन दैट फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी आर गिवेन इज दैट वन किलोग्राम ऑफ अनियंस is of 25 rupees another thing is given that 3 kg of onions is equal to 5 kg of potatoes so if we uh, we know the price for 1 kg of onion so 3 kg of onion will cost us rupees uh, 25 into 3 Which will be seventy-five rupees, and this seventy-five, so five kilogram of potatoes will also cost rupees seventy-five. So one kilogram of potato will cost seventy-five divided by five, which will be equal to fifteen rupees. so now we know the price for 1 kg of potato and we know the price for 1 kg of onion so the question uh, is actually we have to calculate the cost of 12 kg of potato and onion together so for 12 kg of onions and potatoes what we will do is we will multiply with the unit price so 12 times into 25 plus 12 times into 15 so all we have to do multiply to so 12 into 15 is 180 so this is 300 and this will be 480 rupees in total that's will be the answer for this question 480 rupees let's discuss question number 2 in this question it is said that samuel has a field in the form of a rectangle the length of the field is 3 times the width of the field the width of the field is also given as 40 meters and it is asked that how much wire is used to Uh, fence the field whenever in a question it is asked that how much wire is needed for fencing we are supposed to calculate the parameter for that figure now if we talk about rectangle like this is this p q r and s and for the rectangle Now, if we talk about this is the length and this is the width, and this width is given to us as forty meters. So, if we talk about a rectangle, the parameter for rectangle is nothing but two twice of L plus B. Uh, twice of L plus B. This is the parameter for a rectangle. And now, if we uh, want to if we there is another condition is given in this uh, question that length is equal to 3 times the width so we know the uh, breadth of the rectangle or width of the rectangle is 40 meters and length is nothing but 3 times of width right and and so we can do something like 3 into 40 plus 40 and then so this will be 120 plus 40 multiply by 2 so this is 
multiply by 160 which will be equal to 320 meter so this much length of wire is needed for fencing the entire field in this question uh, there can be another extension also if the cost of wire is also given then you are supposed to calculate the cost but that's for some other day let's discuss question number three in this question this is our figure now uh, there's a figure given to us in this question and the question is a b c d in the given figure a b a b c d is a square and e f g h is a rectangle e f g h is a rectangle we have to find the length of b e this is the length which is sub which we have to find out okay so if we talk about a square there's uh, one property that you should know about a square and that is all of the sides are equal if this is a square then all of the sides of the square a b b c c d a d all of the sides will be equal so and and there is a rectangle also and for rectangle we know that uh, for rectangle opposite sides are equal so this will be equal and these two sides will also be equal so if this is a rectangle a b c d then a b will be equal to c d and b c will be equal to a d so this is the uh, this is the basic idea behind this now coming back to the question if we take a look at this question we have a b so since a b is given to us and this is a square a b c d is a square so a b will be equal to b c so b c will be equal to 10 centimeter right so now we know uh, we all we can already it is given to us that c h is 5 centimeter b c we have calculated as 10 centimeter so the remaining part which is b which we have to calculate so b e will be nothing but equal to total length which is if you take a look at this way this is the g f let's talk about g f so this length h e h e minus what h c and this length b c okay so basically it's nothing but uh, since g f is this much so h e will be equal to g f because it's a rectangle so this will be 18 centimeter h c we have calculated where it is already given to us like 5 centimeter and b c we have calculated from square so it is 10 centimeter so the answer would be 18 minus 53 centimeters so this will be the length of b e okay so let's discuss question number fourth uh, the question is adam had 5 kilogram 650 gram of rice he used 2 by 5 times of the total quantity of rice how much quantity of rice is left with him so in this question it is given that adam have initially 5 kilogram 650 gram of rice in order to uh, proceed with the question i would suggest that we will convert this all this quantity to grams so it will be equal to 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams so 5 kilogram will be equal to 5000 grams plus 650 grams so the total quantity in grams will be equal to uh, 5650 so this is the total quantity of rice which adam have initially now what i want to do uh, what uh, was given the question is uh, 2 by 5 times of the rice is consumed so we have to calculate what is the 2 by 2 by 5 times of that total quantity so we have to calculate this value so what this will be equal to 2 multiply 
वन वन थ्री जीरो एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू 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 सिक्स जीरो ग्राम सो दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ राइस वॉज कंज्यूम्ड और यूज बाय एडम सो रिमेनिंग राइस रिमेनिंग क्वान्टिटी ऑफ राइस लेफ्ट इज विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सब्ट्रैक्ट ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री थ्री नाइन जीरो ग्राम्स या सो दिस इज द क्वान्टिटी इन ग्राम्स सो इफ इन ऑप्शन दे इज गिवेन इफ द आंसर इज गिवेन इन ग्राम्स एंड किलोग्राम्स देन वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट बैक टू किलोग्राम सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री किलोग्राम्स थ्री हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी ग्राम्स सो दिस विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स डिस्कस द फाइनल क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इट आर गुड क्वेश्चन सो इन अ पार्किंग लॉट देर आर ट्वेल्व कार्स एंड सम मोटरसाइकिल्स वी आर नॉट गिवेन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोटरसाइकिल्स विच आर अवेलेबल सो दे आर ट्वेल्व कार्स विच आर स्पेक्सली गिवेन एंड सम मोटरसाइकिल्स आर देर इफ दे आर एटी फोर व्हील्स इफ दे आर एटी फोर व्हील्स ऑल टूगेदर देन हाउ मेनी मोटरसाइकिल्स आर देयर इन द पार्किंग लॉट द बाई व्हील्स you have to understand that we are talking about the wheels that um, so for car we all know that a uh, car has four wheels and for motorcycle we have two wheels so if if there is this way so now we are given that 12 cars are there so if we talk about 12 cars how many wheels will be there 12 times 4 so it will be 48 wheels and if there are if there are 12 cars then there are 48 wheels and total wheels are also given so out of 84 if we subtract the 48 wheels we were left with how much wheels Thirty six wheels are left. So out of this thirty six wheels, we um, and we know that in a motorcycle we have two wheels. So we have to divide this thirty six by two uh, so that we can get the total number of motorcycles. So total number of motorcycle would be eighteen. So. Uh, see after the subtraction from 84 wheels we have subtracted the total number of wheels for the car 48 so we got 36 wheels but these are the 36 total wheels in a bike there are two wheels so one bike has two wheels so there that's why uh, there will be 18 motorcycles will have 36 wheels in all together so this was the uh, these are the questions for the day and uh, if you have any doubts you can post it in the comments i will try to answer them if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you have a great day